Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name is Khan, and right now I'm going to be sitting down to check out Ruby Volume 7, Episode 8, or Chapter 8, titled Cordially Invited. Now, the title obviously makes me think that we're going to get a whole episode where it's all about that invitation that um, Ironwood received at the end of Volume 7, Episode 7. That being that they're invited to Jock's, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be at like the same ballroom area which took place. Um, back in like volume four where uh why summoned the summoned borba tusk against that one dude some of you guys uh, let me know in the comments that it was like a henry or something like that the, the dude's name was henry and apparently they might be related to um may right I, I think i accidentally thought it was like them related to neptune or something like that like fake neptune or weird neptune or whatever you guys call it in the uh in the chat and uh, in the comments and whatnot um or what the f name the fandom has given it, but apparently that they're uh, related to May Marigold, uh, who is based off the um, the one of the fairy tales or short stories off that character specifically. So um, that's very interesting that her semblance, May's semblance, is literally cloaking to mimic sort of the uh, themes of the st of her story. Uh, but that being said, yes, so I, I think it's gonna be maybe in that ballroom area or it's gonna be in the Schnee Manor, you know, either way. But I really hope, one thing that I had a fear of at the end of, well, I, I actually just rewatched episode 7 right now before jumping into this. And one thing that was going through my head was the fact that I really hope this isn't some red wedding scenario shit, you know? Like everybody's invited and then Arturito and freaking uh, Tyrion go hammer on everyone in the area. And another thing that I thought about is that if I'm Ironwood brings Winter with them. Winter probably won't go, but if she does go, it will be the first time Winter's been back at her home in a while. Because last time, she literally had to wait before Jock left before actually showing up because she doesn't want to speak with or see her father in physical form. You know what I'm saying? So uh, in that regard, I think Weiss has like the upper hand or Weiss is slightly uh, braver in familial aspects. But um. That being said, what else happened last episode? Oh yeah, uh, we got a lot of, um, well, what is it, uh, talk about Penny through, um, what do you call, Pietro's describing how Penny's uh, semblance is part of his own, that he took part of his own semblance and put it in uh, Penny. And we get confirmation of that and that, you know, there's very little opportunity he has left to be able to do that again because he needs his semblance and, he, I mean, not, not his semblance, but he needs his aura, excuse me, his uh, aura and the more he depletes it, the more his you know uh, his own body's uh, uh, it starts to deteriorate you know so it's yeah, it, it's very much it reminded me a lot of do you guys haven't uh, if you guys have seen this one picture or meme that's out there where it's a uh, and it shows a father and uh, uh, what looks like his son and he's literally taking little cube pieces from him and adding it to his son so basically the more he takes out of himself he puts it into his son and that's how he builds his son up by uh, extracting pieces of himself and so it very much reminded me of that meme or that comic strip um, uh, from newspapers and whatnot and I was thinking to myself wow this is a literal representation of that image or that theme or that idea or that symbol so uh, it, I, I very much like that concept and it seems like Watts used to work for uh, or used to work with Pietro before his whatever happened with them you know he's like you know but um, that being said I'm, I mean I am scared if Watts and Tyrion do happen to show up at this all this meeting or uh, whatever the function is without an invitation which they definitely didn't need an invitation to wreak the havoc that they did back during the election. And so obviously this is it's gonna be Jock all he's like, Oh, you guys do remember how I won the election, right? So yeah, let me set some rules and stuff that'll clearly benefit me and the Schnee Dust Company, because that's who I am, that's what I be. But um <laughs> Yeah, man. So I'm I'm curious. So we're probably gonna have Ironwood um and maybe uh Oscar will go with him, just cause him and Os uh Os and Ironwood are, you know, uh, had a little, you know, bromance sort of, not bromance sort of moment, but had a, like an exchange of ideas and um, ideologies in last episode. And you get to see Oscar becoming a little bit more like Ospin or developing those like t style styles of characteristics. So uh, I wonder if Oscar will be invited as well. And I wonder what Team Ruby and uh, Team um, yeah, Orange will be up to in the meantime. Hmm? That'll be interesting to find out because it seems like Nora has a quite a number of, uh, you know, rightfully so, has a quite a number of unique but very, you know, real lifestyle um, 
opinions about everything that's going on between Atlas and Mantle and what Ironwood should do and what Ironwood is doing at the moment. And that might cause more friction between her and Ren because I still don't know where Ren sits in all this. Is he pro Ironwood or is he just like still figuring himself out i don't know but that being said uh this episode is titled cordial invited very excited to get into it thank you guys for everybody who explained uh and included their like thoughts and ideas in the comments i read through all of them i think i read through all of them unless you guys posted some uh, more in the past couple of days but uh that being said as always if you guys enjoy watching these videos with me don't forget to like comment subscribe and share feel free to check out a lot of the other uh cool uh shows that i'm watching right now i'm watching a lot of the like, mcu shows like wandavision and um uh, falcon and winter soldier trying to you know, uh, upload my reactions to the Zack Schneider's Justice League. Also, if you guys haven't checked out um, Amazon Prime Video's new uh, animated series, The Invincibles, based off of the comic, I highly recommend it. Just watched episode one. I'm gonna probably watch episode two right after this. And um, it got me hooked, man. So I highly recommend it. Uh, check out the episode first. Check out the episode first and then check out my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so watch the episode first. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's all uh, separate from Ruby stuff. Let's go ahead and dive in to Ruby, Volume 7, Episode 7, titled Cordially Invited. Oh, by the way, uh, if you guys hear like some weird, like, shaky noise from my mic is because my mic literally can't handle the hype anymore and I'm, i ordered a new mic it'll take maybe two three days for it to arrive but until then i gotta get through with this mic you know i'm still gonna use it. i love this guy i love this little guy i i, I like to hold on to these things i attach meaning to um inanimate objects but um that being said let's go ahead and dive in in three two one it's on Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Always hoping that a lightning bolt is gonna save you. Trampoline! I know it's not trampoline, but I just I just like saying it's trampoline. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the song. Oh my god. Oh, here's an interesting question. What the hell is that thing on Ironwood's- on top of Ironwood's brow? I've seen it, but I- I-, I What is it? Like, I don't get it. It's like a little metal piece, right? It's not just there for, like, decoration or... You know? Or decorating his face or something like that, you know? It's not an accessory. Do you guys know what it does? The dawn. Smash! Oh yeah, we gotta see Robin. Oh, is Robin invited to this shit? Well, probably not. She lost the election, right? Robin's probably the last person. Um, what's his face would invite? Jack. Freaking Jack. Oh, all them silhouettes, bruh! Woo! Step creation and silhouettes the bow! Let's get this shit. You Only are invited. Shmi Manor of the Banquet PR Hall. Move. Oh, yes. On the news, he said he just wanted to break bread and Where's hash things Blake? out. Where's Maybe it won't be so bad. We do want the general to start opening up to these people, mm. right? Yeah, but on his terms. Ironwood's going to be locked in a room at his rival's own dinner party. Word. You know, Jacques says he's happy to moderate, but all that really means <laughs> Jacques is Jacques as a moderator. Conversation. Wait. Not hard to imagine oh, how there she's gonna play out. I still can't Next to Yang, of course. Robin was supposed to be the people's champion, wasn't she? Yes. There's just too many coincidences. You really think your dad might have something to do with Salem? No. I think my father would do whatever it takes to win. And we should do the same. Meaning... Well, no one knows Jacques? your dad better than you. And out of everyone going tonight, I'd say you're the only one who could snoop around the house and not be questioned. Right. If Jacques... Wait, are we gonna see the mom? I think we should know what it is. I just hit me. Are we gonna see the mom? Mama Schnee? We only saw her in a portrait back in volume four, so... Ooh, I like the music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit, everybody's here! What? Oh damn. Oh, I knew it! Wintare! Suppose we should smile for the cameras? Sir, with all due respect, you'd have to paint. Oh damn. <laughs> damn! Oh, why, sir? Very nice, sir. 
Damn, that's a giant ass crew. Oh my god. If it isn't Shitly. What an interesting way to say, hello, dear brother. How have you been? I'm afraid you won't find him here. He was let go. Why is he answering the door? Don't they have like butlers and shit? General, exactly how large do you think our dining room table is? <laughs> I happen to know it's enormous. Yeah. But most of my guests will be on standby in case the council requests additional eyewitnesses. Mm -hmm. Until then, I'm sure they'll be happily celebrating your father's victory. <laughs> <laughs> Whitley's hilarious. Wow, it has been a minute. A very long ass minute since we've seen Whitley. For those of you joining us in the dining room, Please follow me. Wish us luck. He's basically the butler. What the hell? Well, they already invited you, didn't they? <laughs> ah, yes. Damn. <laughs> Care for a drink? Oh, okay, they do have butler. Oh, uh, fun as butlers, no, no, of no course. I Freaking job. Patrolling the grounds. Words out of my mouth. Yes, right. Mero. Oh, Speak the truth. Off. Don't break anything, and be ready in case the general calls on you. Hors d'oeuvres? Let's see them out of house and home. <laughs> Counterpoint, how about we do wander off, consider breaking things, and then all that other stuff. Yep. I'll be in touch. Where is she going? Dear sister. Oh, here we go. I was hoping we could use this time to catch up. Mm-hmm. I bet. Oh, I have to know. Why did you go through so much trouble to leave home, only to come crawling back? Oh, shut up, Whitley. <laughs> this might be a problem. General Ironwood. <laughs> Please. <laughs> just... He's seat. come a long way from being a simple farmhand's boy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Penny's there Councilman too! Sleet. Councilwoman Camilla. Come. Councilwoman Hill would have had a nice ring to it. Oh. Though I suppose I should just Councilwoman be grateful Camilla. I got invited to the table. <laughs> Miss Hill, that vigor of yours is precisely oh, why shut up, Jock. I just hate his voice. Tonight. Very well done by the voice actor, by What the way. is she doing here? What we're all doing here, James. Addressing the concerns of our kingdom. That's Which a dope-ass looking candle holder. we have much to discuss. Indeed. I was hoping we could start by- Are we safe with her here, by the way? Oh, shut I up, Jot. Oh my god. regarding her involvement in that horrific massacre. <sighs> Which I'm As sure he knows all about. stated, that footage was doctored. Yo. Penny is completely under my control. Which is concerning, I think. Concerning? Ooh. Let's talk about exactly what it is you control. Hmm. Why won't this kid buzz off? <laughs> exactly. What was that earlier about breaking things? Oh, sh oh shit. What what is what what is this? Well, Whitley, I'm sure the company is lucky to have you. But if you'll pardon me. And where exactly is it that you're going? Oh. It's like some Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12, 13 shit. Right. The company has promised me my own parking space. Maybe. Care for a drink? This is so cool. <laughs> oh no, it's her! Oh wow. What are those? <laughs> okay, it worked. It worked. It worked. Hey, Woodley actually looks good in purple. If you'll excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of reaction was that? <laughs> Where are those weird round cylindrical burrito looking things? The fact of the matter is Curious. you've operated with a fair amount of autonomy for the past few years, James. But what we need now is for you to work with us. Sir, I Ooh. have... It's obvious that no kingdom intends to declare war on Atlas. We had no involvement in the incident at Haven. We have proof our drones weren't acting on orders at Beacon. At this point, the closure of Atlas Ooh, borders is only serving to hurt mm, our relations good. with the rest of the world. I... The rest of the world? It's hurting us. The people of Atlas are suffering, and they want to know why. Mm. 
Quite right, Miss Hill. And I'm afraid there's more than just your choices that have brought harm to our citizens as of late. Have your forces found any additional evidence as to who is slaughtering innocent civilians down in Mantle? That oh. is an ongoing investigation. The details of which are classified, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the ever-growing list of classified information you seem to be keeping. I asked our oh, fellow counselors about to, to shed some light on your Amity Coliseum project, and as it turns out, they know about as much as I do. Even you don't know? The Amity project will help with all of the issues you've presented, but you have to understand that discretion is a top priority at this time. Are you saying you don't trust us? You can't oh, shit. deny trust like everything else. You have to earn it. Calm down. Oh, this is exactly what he wants. I want. couldn't have said it better myself. General, if I may be blunt, you have spent what little trust this council had left in you. The hacker who turned Atlas drones against us was never captured. Whoever's been murdering your critics is still at large. How are we supposed to give you our trust when you've given us nothing as of late? That's not what- Winter. Oh God. This is making me mad. That's enough. Excuse me. Hello, Weiss. Ooh, look at all those port. Miss Schnee? <gasps> Is everything okay? I'm fine, thank you. Keep up the great work. Feeling awkward around your own home. Actually, she's always felt awkward around her own home, I would say. Hello, darling. <gasps> Mama! Mama Schnee! Are you okay? We got the whole family. Aww. Penny and Winter having a. I just a let my emotions get the better of me. What do you mean? You wouldn't understand. Oh. Right. Aww. Uh, no, no. What I mean is, this place holds a lot of memories for me specifically. Not great ones. I thought I was in control, but you heard me. I sounded like a petulant child. Ooh. I thought you sounded fine. Volume three, you were chapter just speaking three, music. From your heart. And that is precisely the problem. Slower. I should have just stayed in line. I guess you're right. I don't understand. Oh. Damn! Yeah, she ain't about staying in line. I'm sorry I couldn't come down for your party. I'm uh, afraid I'm not feeling well. Um, it's okay, Mom. It's fine. What are you doing uh, in your father's office? What are you doing in her her, her Just father's office? Just looking for office? something I left. That's right, you left. You left. I need to use father's computer. Why? Because I think you may have done something. Something wrong. I thought we all simply assumed that at this point. <laughs> yes, well, some of us are trying to do something about it. So she's still drinking that drink. He started locking his home computer. But he still has blind spots. Oh, way to go, Mama Schnee. Very interesting. You put a camera in here? I put them in every room of this house for our safety in case I ever need to run away. Or hide, or... You haven't come back to stay, have you? Wait! No. Are they trying to low-key tell us Good. that Jack abuses her? Like, physical abuse? A man came by. I'm afraid your father She's may be so involved hot. in something more dangerous than he realizes. Shit. No matter what happens, Weiss, 
Please don't forget about your brother. Oh. Whitley wants nothing to do with me. Of course not. You left him alone. With us. Damn, dude. Man, this family is like, holy shit, dude. I think Jock's a freaking loser, Who dude. He's you? a freaking creep. Of course it's raining. With weird music in the background. The hell? What's he doing? What you doing? What you doing, Watts? Oh! Oh! Weiss told- Weiss said something about this last episode. The heating grid. He turned off the heating grid. The freaking rain turned to snow. Bro! Shit's about to get colder. People gonna get pissed. They're gonna turn on Atlas. Atlas gonna strike hey, Mom, back. It's snowing. Oh, poor little boy. My God, dude. Mama Shani. Damn, she she looks like she's seen better days. But damn, dude. So are, is that what they're really insinuating? The fact that she's been like physically abused by uh Jock? Like, she, she's frightened. The alcohol is to suppress her, like, constant stress and anxiety living in this house. But she's, she just, she, that's why she put, like, cameras everywhere to try and, uh, hide from him if needed. If need be. God damn, dude. That's a cool transition. Like, it's raining from the heat in the atmosphere created by the heating dust. But, um, yeah. Holy crap, I gotta watch this episode again. Wow, it was only like, what, 15 minutes? Very interesting. Wow, okay. Very interesting, I'm gonna watch it again, then I'll get back to you guys. Silhouette against the moon, Jack, you suck. Hey guys, so I've just finished watching Cordially Invited Volume 7 of, of Episode 8 of Ruby a uh, second time, and my goodness, like the stuff that they're sort of trying to insinuate at us is like, it's 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 crazy how the the episode, as much as it's from the outward point of view, it's very focused on the political aspect of what's going on in Atlas. It's very much f the the heart of this episode is really Weiss's family, House Schnee. You know what I'm saying? What you're seeing is that Jock is all about, all about just the political stuff. Like his kids showed up for the first time. He doesn't give a crap about them. He definitely doesn't talk to his wife anymore. And his wife here is like, I I'm guessing at this point that it's an abusive relationship. Not just like, I I initially I just thought it was like a verbal abuse or like, you know, just a lack of communication between them and just like a com completely dominating relationship and he's just in control the whole time. But from the way that she was afraid and just like, you know, the, what adds on to the alcoholism and then just the, the, everything that's going on with her, it feels like, you know, they're definitely a physical relationship, like a very physically abusive relationship. And, um, the fa and maybe he even abuses Whitley. That's why she's like, you know, when she was talking to Weiss, she was like, uh, of course he doesn't, you know, he's not fond of you. You left him alone with us, you know? I mean, Whitley's around, you know, a very depressive mom the whole time, and then quite possibly Jock, who couldn't give a shit about Whitley, but at the same time, you know, probably abuses him in many ways as well. So it's kind of like, you know, she he harbors a lot of resentment against uh, his sisters who pretty much left and to live their own lives while leaving the whole weight of the house and name, family name, on him. So obviously he's gonna have a little bit of resentment. So Whitley has a little bit of, um, I guess, uh, you know, we shouldn't just like judge Whitley for, you know, all the stuff that's, you know, going wrong with them. It's just him, you know, he's just, uh, for all his like, you know, uh, cra uh, for all his like, you know, weird rhetorics and just like negative talk. I mean, it comes from a very humane area, you know, that, you know, he is like a victim himself of this incredible um, family that's going on. And they literally turned him into the butler. So. <laughs> I mean, Whitley, the, like, Whitley, uh, I, I thought he was going to react a little bit more, but he handled, like, getting, you know, doused in, like, what do you call, um, 
purple grape juice or wine pretty well. He just went off really easily. But uh, I love the little Ocean's Eleven sort of, you know, uh, different panels and simultaneously or like 24, you know, the series 24. Um, where they're showing multiple things happening at the same time. And of course, it's Team John, um, Nora and Ren to the rescue. You know, they like create an elaborate strategy of how to like, you know, um, uh, to uh, make um, a food fall on top of Whitley to like make him, you know, make him like uh, go away. Cause obviously he's a bit annoying and, you know, preventing Weiss from exactly like, you know, inspecting the household. Cause he's the only person that can inspect the household without being, you know, without being suspicious or <clears throat> without being suspected uh, because it is her home. But uh, one thing I didn't know the first time is that the conversation between Team Ruby and Oscar early on, they're very much focused on, at least they're very much thinking about how there's no way that um, Jock could have won successfully or like legally, you know, because like uh, Robin was supposed to be the winner. He, she, she is the people's person. She's the mantle's, you know, savior. So... It, it, I wonder if they're going to piece the parts together and figure out exactly what's going on because now why seems like she's just going to be getting the image and the footage of Watts actually meeting up with Jock. So I don't know if th they've never actually met Watts physically, right? Because uh, I mean, we, um, what is it? Mama Shani said a curious gentleman came and like was t talking to your father and uh, you know, the conversation didn't go, didn't go in such a positive direction so um now that wise is going to receive that footage i'm guessing things are going to begin to turn around or at the very least maybe they're, they're going to get even worse because you know um this is going to be the first time they're going to see watts another they've seen Tyrion, they've seen watts they've seen cinder um and they've seen uh hazel so uh this is the watts is like the final piece of the puzzle and watts is obviously you know an athlesian scientist you know that's gone away what's watts semblance did we ever figure out what's what semblance is i mean he's really good with tech he's a scientist and whatnot but is his semblance technology related or is it something else because hmm i don't know hmm that would be something interesting to find out. I mean, this is this whole volume's Atlas, so maybe we're going to get more of Watts's, or or at least some of Watts's backstory. Maybe a whole episode devoted to Watts. Who knows? I don't know. What else did we get? Yeah, we got. It was really through Mama Shnian that you get to see the family dynamic and her interaction with Watts. So I really, very much enjoyed that. That was probably my favorite part of this episode, despite the whole political stuff going in the background. Um, but yeah, we see all the different council members. We see. Um, uh, Robin's also invited so I'm glad that they're actually they invited Robin to show that you know at least it it, it it needs to be important it's important to talk with one another but obviously Jock's you know the moderator and he's the one controlling everything so he's making Penny look bad he's making Ironwood look bad to Robin he's making Ironwood seem suspicious about what he's gonna have planned for Amity Tower at least in front of the other council members so um it's not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. I don't know how they're going to turn this around. And definitely with the heating going down and mental, things are only going to get worse. And uh, like I said I, I, at the end of the episode is that uh, I very much like the fact that the rain turns to snow. Like the heat was literally, you know, preventing the like turning that r r snow into rain. Or I, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's always snowing in Atlas to a certain extent. But the fact that, that the rain suddenly stopped and the snow starts to pour with the, the heating thing going down, that, that's freaking awesome man and the other thing is that Weiss actually mentioned this I remember her mentioning this last episode that there's like an entire heating grid that is responsible for heating mantle and I don't know if it's the same thing for Atlas I, I would suspect that w Watts wouldn't affect Atlas he would only affect mantle because when people in mantle see that oh we're the only ones affected by losing our source of heating and Atlas still got it obviously there's a you know an increasing disparity growing there you know so that's insane, man. That's cra that's that's super crazy. And some of you guys mentioned last episode when they were in the vault. When they were in the vault, you guys were talking about how um, it was very important that it was the the staff of creation. Like when we when they're discussing is that the staff of creation is. Uh, I mean, obviously there's like a lot of surrounding gravity dust around it, but it's literally the staff of creation holding, um, you know, 
creating man uh, holding mantle up through you know magical means as opposed to scientific dust like means you know so that made me think obviously if somebody removed the freaking staff of creation right somebody removed the staff of creation let's say cinder gets a hold of the staff of creation takes it away does that mean freaking atlas is gonna fall on freaking mantle dude like freaking ultron style what ultron had planned because uh, 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 an uh, basically atlas is an island right but atlas is an island if an island falls on the plant the pl on the mantle from that high up it's not going to be catastrophic for the entire planet but it will be catastrophic for the kingdom of atlas and definitely it's going to kill loads and loads of people so i'm <laughs> that's like the worst case scenario you know what i'm saying so i don't know what's going to happen at the end of this volume dude oh my god Shit's getting really crazy, and I thought this episode was gonna turn a lot like the Red Wedding or something like that. A whole lot of people are gonna get hurt. Tyrion's probably like up on one of those chandeliers, like you know, I'm ready for this shit. Watch when, just tell me when. You know what I'm saying? But uh, thankfully, it didn't turn out like that. But the, but I guess next episode we don't know. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for you know things like this smoothing out. But uh, based on some of you guys' comments about like you know, it's like oh Khan, just you know really enjoy these episodes. That's all I'm saying. I'm like. God, why you guys keep saying that? Like, it's like, is things just gonna keep getting worse from here on out? Like, I don't know, man. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say about everything that happened this episode. Anyways, what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys later in Ruby Volume 7, Episode 9. Damn, I'm, I'm already halfway through uh, this volume. A little bit more than halfway through, because I think there's like, what, four, there are 14 episodes? Yeah, I know. Ooh, damn, shit's going to get insane. I can feel it. I can feel it in my jellies, bro. We need some more action up in this bitch. All right, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night, wherever you guys are. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.